Christmas tree so that I can do The Kirkland Arts Center in Clinton presents Local Arts. It's that time of year again when Fountain Elms is decked out for the holidays. We stop in to tour with decorative arts guide Paula Caruana and to experience what it might have been like celebrating the holidays 150 years ago. The uh, decorations are roughly 1850s to 1860s. And um, there are a variety of decorations. Many of them uh, have immigrant tra are immigrant traditions that were brought to this country. Christmas was not made a legal holiday in the United States until the late 1800s, surprisingly. In our dining room, we have an array of beautiful china and silver. The table is set up for a buffet. In the, the center, we have a, a special centerpiece called an epern. And the epern is filled with grapes overflowing, and there are wheat. A lot of uh, visitors are surprised to see some decorations that you would consider Thanksgiving decorations. And that has to do with food preservation because in the 1800s, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you had a lot of extra food that couldn't be preserved. So lots of feasting and eating. In the parlor, our centerpiece is a tabletop Christmas tree. And actually, only one in five Americans would have a Christmas tree, and that was 1900. So it is a tradition that took a little while to catch on. The Christmas tree comes to us from Germany via England. Queen uh, Victoria had a picture of her family around a tabletop Christmas tree published in a newspaper in London in 1850. And then that was reproduced in America, and this is way after the American Revolution. Now we wanted to copy the royals, so everyone was supposed to have a Christmas tree like Queen Victoria. In the library, our centerpiece is called a snow tree, which is also a German tradition, uh, specifically a Pennsylvania Dutch, which actually means German. They would save last year's Christmas tree, and obviously the needles would fall off, and you would decorate it with cotton. Underneath the snow tree is a, a Christmas village called a Putz, and that's from the German word Putzen, which means to decorate. So that's the ancestor of our Christmas villages today. In addition, in the library, we have kind of an interesting phenomenon. There is a table set up with cards. They're not just any playing cards, they're souvenir playing cards, which were made uh, to celebrate the coronation of King George V who would be Queen Victoria's grandson. Of course, now we look forward to Prince William and Kate Middleton being married in England. And I'm sure in England, there'll be lots of things with their pictures on it, just like our cards have King George. Fountain Elms is open to the public for free tours today from one to five. This afternoon at 2.30, you're invited to the sixth annual Messiah Sing. Gather in the Munson Williams Proctor Museum Auditorium to sing the Hallelujah Chorus from Handel's Masterpiece, conducted by Charles Schneider of the Utica Symphony. 